Hey everyone, uh, this is Trevor from SonicPals.com. Uh, recently I got a Nintendo DS, and that's when the chaos began, trying to connect it up to the Wi-Fi, which obviously was a little bit of a hassle, considering that I have a WPA network. Now, Nintendo DS is only configured to set or connect up to WEP security. Uh, apparently the reason is because it can't process the WPA Whatever, WP sucks. Plus, it cannot allow for wireless N um, signals, which I have a MacBook Pro or, you know, just a lot of things are using wireless N now. Uh, so that kind of hinders you a lot. So the solution I found, uh, at least a solution, I know there's, you can always get the USB little dongle and plug it in your computer, which I think is nuts. Um, other option is to just put no security whatsoever on your network, which still isn't always recommended, um, and it doesn't always work, especially if you have wireless N. But one option um, that you can do, and it does require you buying something, uh, is you get the D-Link Wireless DIR655. It is the top-of-the-line wireless router right now, the Extreme N Gigabit Router. Ooh, it's quite powerful. Anyways, though, inside of it, and only it one, at least I could find, it has a feature called Guest Zone. Now, what Guest Zone does, it creates a separate wireless network for guests, um, which you can then disable the network. You can make sure no one can go on there and get access to your router or something like that because it's, it's at a guest feature. Now, when I tried setting up the WP security on the guest function, that failed utterly. Like, nothing worked. Couldn't even connect with the computer. So all that I did is that I removed the security on it whatsoever, and that worked. I mean, now I can connect with my DS. I still have my security and my wireless N. So, I, once again, the best thing to do, go to your local Office Max, Best Buy, Circuit City, wherever. Get the wireless D-Link Extreme Gigabit N Model number DIR-655. So 655. Um, and then once you set it up, you go to Advanced. On the left-hand side, on the very bottom, it says Guest Zone. You click on that. Uh, you set that up. The configuration will simply be... Let me get it up. One sec. So you get on there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Awkward pause as it loads. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I didn't reset it yet to the new. Anyways, sorry about it. All right, you go to advanced. Bottom. Go to guest zone. Now you enable the guest zone and set the schedule to always. That's why I did. I mean, you can set a time, but no need to. For the wireless network name, I just put what I had for the current network name, you know, with the underscore and DS, or whatever you want to put for that. I disabled the enable routing between zones. That means that the people on your wireless network, um, on the guest zone, cannot communicate with the rest of the network. And security mode, just put none, and save that. And again, that seemed to work. Now, from research, though, if you're looking for other options... You really have known that I can find at least. Uh, you either get the USB dongle, so you can plug it into a computer that has internet and connect that way, or you have an older router, one that's compatible, that's wireless B and G only, and can support the WP and works, which is, I guess, kind of hit or miss, depending. But who wants wireless G nowadays, especially if you have a, a nice router, you know, an internet speed. I mean, it doesn't make much sense. Anyways, so, in short, Go with the wireless D-Link router. It's the top of the line. You're going to love it. It has port forwarding. And if you're doing any sort of gaming, like with your Wii, your Xbox 360, it's an awesome router to go with. And just top of the line. I mean, you can get it on sale for like 100 bucks. You know, might as well. You're going to need to upgrade anyways. Um, always get the dongle. And now I'm just repeating myself because I like both. Yeah, anyway, all right. So this is Trevor signing off.